Yo, get and your popcorn go. ready. GP, all right. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. This is your host, Hatch, with yep. my boy. Yep, yep. Your other host is in the building. This is T.O. In the building, ladies and gentlemen. We got a T.O. and we have a D.C. <laughs> Donovan Carter's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, let's go, brother? Let's go. I'm blessed, man. Thank y'all for having me on. I really appreciate this, There man. it is. All good. I like you the know? vibe already. I like popcorn, so, you know. Oh, then let's go. Get, get, get your popcorn. Go. Go. Let's it's do it. edible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is not for staging, right? We actually yeah, yeah. eat on the show, okay. you know. It's it ain't yeah. stale. We good. <laughs> it ain't stale. Like, we, we starting somewhere. Yeah. What's been going on, though? What's new with you? I know you say that's got them on Ballers, right? Yeah, yeah. That's done, because I know people keep coming up to you asking, you know, when's Ballers going to have a season six? or whatever, but you know, that's done. So It's crazy because it ain't it, came, it went off in 19, but people still ask yeah. me, some of my other co-stars all the time. And I was like, it's been three years since it's been off. Right, but, right, I right. mean, you know, it's all love. I just appreciate people just liking the show, watching it, because sometimes you watch stuff, it's, it's not good, yeah. or they don't like your character. So, you know, <laughs> you get slack either way. But it's been love, man. But right now, man, just been auditioning, right. looking for the next opportunity. You know, just networking out here in L.A., that's the name of the game. Right, yeah, yeah. Networking, meeting folks. Um, I invested in a restaurant a few years back. Okay, nice. yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's finally open. It's called The Hideaway, man. I got, the Hideaway. Got, hideaway? Yeah. yeah, it's on Beverly Hills, on Rodeo yeah, Drive. Yeah, you like you ain't yeah. missing no meals, <laughs> boy. I see <laughs> you. <laughs> I ain't missing no meals. Okay. Yeah, you got to come through, though, man. That's what's up. What type of food? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of food? Mexican food. Mexican okay. food. Uh, family style. No, open till 2. On the weekends, we're gonna start doing like music and stuff too on the weekends. Oh, because you're trying to create a vibe. That's exactly. what you're trying to do. I yeah. see. I already okay. know. Yeah, yeah. I it's already a cool know. vibe, man. Like, like I like it because the service good, the food good. Anybody come in, you know what I'm saying? If you TO or if you somebody off the street, you know, mm. treat Just, you all the same. Okay. So, okay, regular job. I'm trying to figure out why I wasn't on ballers. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out too. Hey. Man, I'm trying to figure because out. Because you ain't no baller. How about oh, that? Yeah, That's man. why you wasn't on ballers. <laughs> and it's so funny because a lot of people were asking me. Dude, why, why don't, don't you, you get on ball? And why you? I'm like, I don't know. I don't really know what the requirements are. I don't know right, what the criteria yeah. is. Right. So right. I mean, because you know, obviously there was a lot of celebrities and a lot of former yeah. uh, football players and some active guys that were on the show. So how did you guys get? You know, obviously these guys doing cameos or what have you. Did you guys just? It depended on the episodes or whatever you guys were scripting. Whoever fit the description of the characters. How did you guys do that? I think so. I think that's always a gap between because I feel like a lot of players like. They wanted to be on there, but they just didn't, like you said, didn't know how to go about it. Mm, and then the right. NFL at first wasn't the most supportive of the show because right. they just they could have went the opposite. Yeah, way. they just didn't know because yeah. you had, you know, you had that show Players. Everybody talk about playmakers, back in the, playmakers, playmakers yeah, excuse back me, in the day, yeah. back in the day. But you know, I think once they saw what it was, and you know, we weren't really bashing the NFL. You know, we was just kind of trying to tell our side of the truth. Yeah. Right, right. But, so um, what do you think the, that was? Why do you think they weren't as supportive of the show in the beginning and then kind of jumped on board? What, where, where was the transition? I think I think just the relationship, like, because, you, you know, Hard Knocks is on HBO. Mm -hmm. So I think we kind of used that relationship that I already had. And then, you know, just kind of just communicating with them. Mm -hmm. They got to see some of the scripts. We had, like... We had like Rashard Mendehall. He was on. He was a writer on the show. Writer on the show. And we yeah. Had, shout out we to Rashad, had, man. Yeah, man. Shout thing. out to my yeah, my guy Rashard, man. He good dude, man. Yep. Different dude, but man, you know, good dude, yeah. man. Yeah. And we had like other people, um, you know, kind of helping out, giving they they two cents about it. So I think once they saw like who was involved, they kind of you know let their guard down, yeah. and then they got to watch it, and then. They kind of had they um they little two cents as well in the script in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then after a while they just like all right, yeah. they ain't talking too crazy. So I know it's yeah. in the can. I yeah. know it's in the can. But is there any way it comes back? Because you know there's always some type of like <laughs> you know reunion shows and right. things of that nature, like Friends, like they they shut it down, then they, then they try to bring, bring it, back. it back. Right, right. Um, you know, you never know. You see, like you say, now you see these spinoffs. Right. Like, I just watched Cobra Kai, and, you know, that's from The yeah. Karate Kid, and yeah. that's, that's years from now. So, yeah. you never know, man. Dwayne, he just so busy. Yeah, right yeah now, he's so, yeah, with yeah. the XFL. Yeah, yeah he ain't coming back, because he, he got, he got his tough. schedule full for five years. Right, right. We know it's, that. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough, man. So, I mean, you never know. I mean, we had a good time. I mean, he gave us five seasons. And, you know, HBO, to be on there five years, man, is a blessing. So, you know, I'm ready for whatever. If they yeah, want right. to, yeah. if they don't, you know, either or, you know, I'm just glad to, to have been a part of it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a blessing, man. God is good. Yeah. yeah, so tell us what did that show do for you? Well, like, you know, what did you think? Like, what did it set you up for? Uh, what did you use the experience for being on that show to now where you are? Yeah, it, it set me up, man, for everything, man, to, to be with y'all gentlemen right here, to just meet so many different people, uh, to, you know, 
Man, get some money in my pocket, first of all. Absolutely. You got to get that paper. You got to <laughs> yeah. secure the bag. Yeah, got yeah. to, man. You know, I came from uh, football. I played at UCLA. Right, Started right. playing when I was uh, 9, 10 years old. So my goal was to be Vernon in real life. Mm-hmm. So okay. that didn't happen. And then, you know, Vernon Littlefield. Yeah, Vernon Vernon Littlefield, man. (laughs) It was all kind of full circle for me to um, to get a chance, you know, to not play in the NFL, but to pretend to be someone in the NFL. Well, there you go. There we go. You can now be who you really want to be. You can go to the greatest show, dog. And now you can really be a football player. Get him out of here. You You can be anything you want. You can be a great football player and become a Hall of Famer. I am a Hall of Famer. You know what? You know, I'm definitely a Hall of Famer. <laughs> In my own eyes. That's right. all good. We all Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So. Yeah, at no, one still, point. no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> so let's go, let's go back to the UCLA career, right? Yeah. You're getting playing well, obviously, right? You're playing at UCLA, one of the biggest schools in the, you know, in the country, right? You're, right. You're living your life. You're in Beverly Hills, California, Man. right? But your dream at the moment was still to go to the NFL yes. when you were at UCLA, right? Yes, yeah. Now, when was the moment like, okay, I'm not going to go to the NFL, so now I, I want to get into acting, or was it always I want to get into acting, I really don't care about the NFL? Yeah, it was all football for me. Like, just I was locked in. I mean, I, wanted, I always enjoyed TV, watching movies growing up. But you know what our schedules in football, you just can't, can't, can't do nothing do, else. You can't do nothing else. And see, <laughs> right, and right. now you got name, image, and likeness. You know, you could do different things. But when I was in school, uh football just took over everything. I did take some film classes just just for fun as an elective, but um, but I didn't like my I didn't major or minor in anything. And then it wasn't until after I got cut and then I'm back home on the couch, and then I'm like, man. So you, you know, went to the Raiders, right? Yeah, I went Raiders to the camp. Raiders for a yeah, okay. mini, uh, for, uh, mini camp for there the rookie go. tryout. Okay. Went up there, you know, competed, did the best I could do. It's tough because you just in helmets, and mm-hmm. they say you can't do nothing. You just got to get off the ball. So right. I couldn't really show, like, um, too much. I just had to show my knowledge of the plays. So that but, was a tryout. Yeah, that was a trial. Yeah, I was up there for three days. Yeah, that mini camp Gosh. in May or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they coach brought us all together, you know, thanks but no thanks. And then I was back back home, you yeah. know, trying to figure out my life. And I, I I got my degree in history, but I you know, you, know, yeah. you, get your you don't want to do history. Yeah, what <laughs> yeah, you gonna do it? Right. You just wanna graduate. You just wanna graduate. Playing at UCLA, what are some notable names so people can like, you know, really kind of familiarize themselves like yes. around the time that that, that you played? I played with uh, Eric Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony Barr, um, okay. Dayton Jones. Had on the show, Anthony Barr yeah, was Barr, on the show. Yeah, shout yeah, out Bizzle, to Barr. Man, yeah. shout out Bizzle, yeah. Um, I ha- I played with uh, Jonathan Franklin. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a running back. He got hurt. He played. He worked for the Rams now. Brett Hundley. Right. Was Darnay there. The, there yet? Nah, Darnay. Darnay, yeah, that's my little homie. Nah, yeah. he wasn't there yet. He okay, just, he, 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 coming to follow yeah, you. Yeah, he was younger, yeah. yeah. Him okay. and, like, Miles Jack and – Miles Jack, yeah. Um, yeah. And um, yeah. Kenny um, – Kenny Young and um, Kenny, Kenny Clark. Clark, yeah, Kenny they was Clark they was the all, Packers, yeah. yeah, yeah, they was all behind me, man. But you know, we all we all like you know, it's all a brotherhood always. That's when you're there, man. you're not there. We all we all cheer for each other, root each other on. Cool. They cool, having it. What's what's some crazy nickname for some of the guys on the team? Man, I think um, I would. I knew my nickname would you would be. <laughs> Come yeah, nickname, you yeah my boy called me Bundles. He used to call bundles? me Bundles. Bundle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why try, Bundles? But I don't know. I try to flip it. I'm like Bundles of Cash. You know, right, right, right. right. Something positive to, that, yeah. that you like. Yeah, you try to flip it. We we had a uh, shout out to Bundles in the building. <laughs> you know, we had some people breast things. So, you know, always you know dragon breast. Right? Right? Yeah, of course. Right, you know. right here. Yeah. Dragon breast. <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, know. Yeah, y'all man, you know, you know, you know, you, know, you always clowning like we. Yeah, like, that's what yeah, you do. Like, we like, and I, and that was a funny part. I was always like, you know, you you always had to come alert because at any point, you know, you wearing some crazy or your hair. You gotta crazy, be ready. You gotta right. be ready. So I always was joking. So people always was like, man, you funny like. You should be on TV, right? But right. I, you know, it's like you like, man, whatever. So right. that was kind of the start of it. Huh? Yeah. So when it happened, a lot of people like they were surprised, but they wasn't surprised. Wasn't surprised. Right. They right. just were surprised or like. How much, you know, because you say you on TV, they just think like, oh, I got Yeah, it. you did a Quick commercial. cameo. You did a yeah. commercial. Of, of you was a truck driver at yeah, the, in, a, in yeah. a F-150. Or you blink. Even my daddy's like, am I, if I blink, am I going to miss you? Right, and right, I'm like, right. I'm like, nah, Pop, I think, you know, I think I got some good parts. But you never know. They they film it, and then they they edit it, and you think you think you You think man. your good scene yeah. was your Oscar award winning scene, they put it on the they, floor. Yeah, they you put know, it they away. They you out. Like, but yeah, most people, they was like, man, you ain't tell me like. Like you, you in the show, in the show. You are the show. Yeah, right? I was yeah. like, I was like, you know, 
I knew y'all was gonna watch. You know, get your, get your popcorn ready. Yeah, That's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, because some people like get into acting, and then they, like you said, they may have a cameo role, and then mm-hmm. you know they're like you're actually casted, and you're on the show. You're a regular. For years. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. That's, this is my first time ever. Like I never auditioned before. My first time ever acting like all that. So it was it was a blessing. I'd audition like for ten months. I mean three. I mean three months, ten times. Wow. They they definitely hazed me a little bit, but it was worth it though. It was exciting. It was. So let, let me go back to your your first audition, the first yeah. day you auditioned. That yeah. feeling in the first day you went to Raiders minicamp. That feeling. Compare those two feelings. Man, that's a good question. Um, I think more footballs. You know. More because you've been doing that, yeah. You've been doing, yeah, but that. it was just different. You know, you walk in and you know you in the Raiders facility, and right. I mean, I didn't see like I was just with the rookies, so I didn't get to see like you know the big time players right, yet. Right, but right. you know, you see their locker and you know the mystique excited. of the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, right. you were excited. You like, all right, you know, this football, just go out there and just play like right. what I've been doing as a kid. But going in there was just, I mean, I guess say the first audition it was different because it was just with the casting, it was just with the casting directors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was still nerve wracking. I mean, I, I auditioned a little bit for commercials, but you know, going there, you know, gotta say lines because I, I literally just knew my lines. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what the other person was saying. I'm just yeah. You just waiting for them to I'm end. I'm waiting to stop talking. Yeah. So you can. I'm like, oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. <laughs> you amateur. But then after I'm looking at the list, I'm looking at seeing like like all the people that was auditioning. I'm seeing like Sean Merriman and yeah. all these you know all these other names that I recognize, and I was like, oh, like oh, this is this is real. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. big time. So everybody's in this space that you probably didn't know that they were kind of doing the same or interested in the same thing that right. you're doing. And then later on, like, time will come and it'll, it'll look like, you know, this room and it'll be like all these other people, like the producers. The execs come in, yeah. The execs. And that's yeah. when I kind of got a little bit more nervous. A but, then I, <laughs> but then I'm like, you know, like, I didn't I didn't play football in front of thousands. You know, thousands. Hundreds right. of thousands. Of like, I don't know, you know, I don't know these people. So you know how that kind of, you know, depart yourself from that and go to this space where you can just focus. Yeah, I had to. I had to. I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. Right, yeah. But I had to figure it out quick. Only person I recognized was Peter Berg. And that's Peter Berg. I, Shout yeah. out to Peter Berg. Yeah, yeah good man. Dude, man. Come yeah, on the show, dude. Peter. Man, yeah, God too, man. Us. Peter's crazy. He different. Yeah, yeah. He, he different, man. But good dude. I recognize him. But everybody was, like, real, like, supportive. They kind of knew my situation. So they was, like, real patient with me. Right. And, I, and you could kind of tell when people, like, rooting for you, too. Because when the Raiders, I could tell, like, it wasn't no love. Like, I was just... <laughs> you just, you just, you just like, one of many. Yeah, yeah, I'm just there. So there I could kind of tell, like, okay, I'm getting a chance. But, you know, I'm all about competition yeah. and competing. Yeah, so I, was, I was, like, just, asking that first question of people auditioning, leaving sports. Because we yeah. think uh, sports is so physical. Yes. Right, and then you get to this, you know, this acting thing where you don't get to be physical. You don't get to show them how strong or fast you are. It's all got to be here, mental and, and yeah, here. And, and, and you know, and your, inside. Heart too. Yeah, what, what was your What was your first uh, audition? You ever went on audition? What was your first audition? <laughs> My, yeah, mine was loving basketball. That's the first audition. Oh, I, I don't know what it. And I did killed you, it. Did you have to audition for it? Because he was in um, Any Given Sunday, right? Nah, they knew I was a natural. It was, it he wasn't was, natural. He I was just you. a football player. No, he wasn't a natural. Nah, yeah, that was, I mean, that was like the first real, like, movie that movie, I was movie, in. Yeah. But I had no, honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. I Gosh. didn't even know who Oliver Stone was. When I first right, right. Yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't I know, know, you know, know the, the, the I just, directors. I didn't know Jamie, you know. Right, yeah. And I remember yeah. being in L.A. and we were down uh, at UC, uh, USC on the campus. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Jamie was down there. He was, you know, he was oh, with Willie Beeman. You know, he was throwing around. And then, um, yeah, I ended up being on the show. And then we had a dinner that later that night. And that's when I met Oliver Stone. And I had heard the name, and then obviously, you know, you start hearing people like, "Yo, just like he's the big deal," you know, what he's I mean? the real he's, deal, right? Yeah, <laughs> like he's like these big, uh, big directors nowadays. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so I was just kind of just overwhelmed. So I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. It was like, okay, just, t- just tell me where I need to be. That's yeah, where I yeah, show be. up. And show and, up. Yeah. Right. And then I was, I went to uh, end up going to Texas, and then um, that was actually my first time. I think being in Texas Stadium too before I actually played there. That's funny. Yeah. Um, and then an actor. actually I had played that then because uh, I remember they had like say just understanding how movies work. Like they literally like they refaced the whole locker room yeah. and the hall, the yeah. the tunnel and everything. And I'm like, yo, ain't, ain't this the Cowboys? Right. <laughs> but they like again like you know they it's painted TV. over everything. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This is what they do. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. So somebody got a, everybody got a job. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a job. Yeah. Right? But I do people. remember uh, going somewhere. I don't know what the audition was, but I remember like going in. I remember this little scene, the little setup. 
you sitting at the desk, you yeah. know what I mean? You looking and you go in and like I said, you, you write your name down, you know, when yes. you get there, this yeah. and that and the other. And, you know, like you said, you look on a list, you see some familiar names with yeah. the with You're the like, parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so he going to my spot. Wait a minute. <laughs> right. We right. both right. going for the same character. Yeah. So I go in, like I said, for me, it was a little overwhelming for me because I'm like, regardless of how many people I've played in, this is unfamiliar territory. territory. Yeah. Yeah. So I go in and and I'm and they just sitting at the desk looking at you. They do <laughs> your paper. Yeah, do your yeah. paper. Yeah, and then uh, so I I was a little nervous, but yeah. you know it's you know yeah. I just like to hear that perspective from yeah. you know because we're so confident when we're on the field. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now we have to do something that like you. I heard another one of your interviews. You said you're on set with people who've been doing this for years, yeah. twenty years, twenty five years, and. You're like, I've been doing this for three months. Yeah. But, you, but, the thing, but you fell into your character, so, you know, it, it all worked out. Right. Yeah. You know, like, I'm going in. Everybody know me as T.O. But you can't be T.O. Right, exactly. You got to be Brad. Right, yeah. John. So I'm, whoever my character is, I'm going in to be that guy. So right. it's like, I'm not really, like, you have like what, maybe, I don't know, depending on when you get the script, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have a short or limited amount of time to be who that person is, yep. go in the character. I wasn't familiar with him, you know what I mean? I'm just going you. in as me. So it was it was nobody a, it was, wants to be you. I right, feel yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a tough trans <laughs> it was a tough transition. It's different. But yeah, but it comes with experience. Like now if I go in there like, yeah, I'm probably more comfortable than I was for years sure. Ago. For sure, yeah. You still get that uh those, excitement yeah, though. Yeah, that know? anxiety, a little butterflies. Yeah. That because you want to go in there as athletes, you still take that part of the it, pride, that mentality yeah. that you want to go in there, you want to do your best. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And sometimes that anxiety can take take it away, you know, right. from you being your best because there's just, just too much too much, too much yeah, anxiety. Yeah. So like the next step again, like say you, that show Ballers is done, right? Yes. You want to move on, do movies, other right. TV shows, right? Absolutely. So now when you're going into to the, the audition room, like what's your process of saying, okay, I really want to book this or like ah uh, this is this is not going to be the next ballers not a big yeah. deal like what's the process now like you just or you just want big time movies like what's that I mean process? I would I would love to you know do series do movies man you know whatever opportunity I think I've done the football thing so you know my big thing is like, I want to do something You don't want to do another football do something player, different right? yeah yeah but <laughs> I mean if if that if that's what I could do if that's what you want to hire me right. I'm down you know but I, I it just for me right now is just if it's a good script and a good cast, because Ballers was such a, you know, he was kind of like a family. Yeah, yeah. And it reminded me a lot of football, because, you know, everybody just has a job, and mm -hmm. everybody does their job well, and you just, we all come together mm -hmm. for one common goal, and, and to make this production good, and, and to yeah. create something. But um, but it's just different now, because um, you're not really going, we're not going into the rooms anymore. You still got to do self-tapes. Yeah, where, that's um, right. You yeah. know, we tape it ourselves, and then we send it to them, mm -hmm. and then you hope that they watch it. Right. So <laughs> just know? so you guys know, that's different than before COVID. Right, so again, before COVID, pre -COVID you'd have man. fifty people come into this small room like this right, to you audition. Right. But now, again, people, the um, I guess the people, the producers and directors are taking all these people on self tape, so they can just sit yeah. back and look at self tape. Yeah. They can look at two hundred and fifty people for this uh, role. Particular role. Now yeah. you're going against two fifty instead of fifty people that are here yeah. in L. A. That's a yeah. big difference in it. It is different. It's like submitting a resume. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. literally. Literally, that's what it is. Yeah, and even the callbacks, like, those are virtual, too. Okay. And it's been different. Like, even my friend, she had one the other day, and um, she had they had her waiting for, like, an hour. An wow. hour and some change, yeah. Usually, you just got to wow. just, you know, just sit there and just... Man. Wait on the Zoom. Kind of wait. Yeah. And then they come in, and they just, you know, and then... Go. Then it's, then it's <laughs> all, yeah, yeah, so... And it's like, man, you got to make sure you're there. You got to stay locked in. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, Dan, do I go to the bathroom? Can right, I? Can right, right. I'm, like, I'm gonna miss it. You don't yeah, want to miss that. Like, yeah, you that don't want to miss seconds. it. Yeah. So you know, it just—I mean, it's just an adjustment. You know, thing you gotta adjust to during these times. Right. And just you know. Now, what about the the directing, game. act, um, directing, writing, and producing, like in the industry? Like, that's something you want to do as well. You're like, I just want to act right now. I want to focus on my craft. Right now, I just want to act. You know, I want to help create. I mean, I, I'm working on writing. Okay. You know, working on my writing skills. Yeah. But um. Yeah. I definitely just want to be a part of like the creating process because I feel like acting, you just there and then that's yeah. it. You don't really have like no say so, not unless you like big time. Right, right. But course. um, but I mean, I definitely I feel like we all got ideas and I just you know yeah. I just want to be heard. Yeah. Now if you don't use them, that's cool. Yeah. But at least sit down and act like you listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Take some notes. <laughs> right, right, right. But, right. but, uh, but I, you know, yeah, I want to I want to be you know part of like that 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 pre process of like what's yeah. going on. 
Yeah. And, you know, this character, this, you know, help maybe break down some characters. What but I'm I just want to learn because I didn't go to I didn't go to acting school. Right, right. I didn't go to, you know, the Juilliards and the Yale and all these stuff. So I feel like the best way to learn is, is on set. Yeah. So you I didn't take the go. traditional route. Yeah, yeah. I did in yeah, because I didn't, I just didn't think this was where my right. life was going to go. Yeah, and I think and none of us, none of us do. You know absolutely. I mean? absolutely. That's a great thing about life. When, yeah. when you look back yeah. at it. Right, you know, for and, sure. Yeah. And you kind of figure out and you look at how you've carved your path. And like it's like, it's not like a, uh, how ants build a little ant hill. You know what I mean? There's different paths. Going different everywhere. Holes. I mean, True. everywhere, but it all leads to one place. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. The industry, the entertainment industry is a lot like football. Right, it's yeah. the more you can do, the longer you stick around. We would say mm-hmm. that in NFL locker room mm-hmm. here. So mm-hmm. that's why it's get into create, get into all that, and whatever. Again, right, like I said, writing, producing, directing, anything that you want to create, go do that, and that's always going to lead to that path of doing something else you really want to do anyway. You know, that's how I feel about the industry. Yeah. It's just, there's so many moving pieces, especially in 2022. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wasn't like it was five years ago, right? The right. ABCs and CBSs don't rule the world no more, right? It's Netflix yeah. and Hulu and Amazon. Like, that's yeah, who rules the world. it's crazy. And more, yeah. I'm sure more on the way, too. More on the way. Yeah, yeah. 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 So way. much, um, yeah, different streams, are, you know, coming in. But, you know, I just hope we just keep creating stuff because, like, we were talking about earlier. Now everybody wants to go back and do the reboots. But yeah, I'm yeah. like, man, there's so many like talented hey, people out here. And, can and Vernon scripts. Littlefield get his own show? <laughs> I mean, I would huh? love to. Vernon man. Littlefield, the ballers. Can he get? Can, is that a is the character? You know enough about character. Yes. Vernon. Is yes. that enough to build a, a show around? Right. Vernon yeah. I mean, Littlefield? yeah, because you said you're working on your writing skills, this and that, and the other. Like I said, yeah. maybe he just gave you an idea. I mean, no, nah, for sure. I'm you know. great. I'm full of great. <laughs> ideas. Yeah. No, he no. Man, he does I think a lot yeah, of we stuff. are. Yeah, we put our. You know, we all put our heads together. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. we all can put our head together and figure it out. But I, I think so, man. Especially with me. And my best friend um, that was that was played like London Brown, man. Shout out London. Mm-hmm. He in power right now, raising Kane, going crazy. Okay, nice but, uh, shout I out. Think, I think everybody says our like our characters were the most relatable because you always had them guys that was in the league and they had a friend around and a yes. bunch of friends. You didn't yeah. know what they do. He was he was the, 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 uh, the do boy, the shout out do boy. <laughs> hey, you don't let him talk to you like that. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. guy, hype man, man. He, hype man. Yeah. 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 Hype he man. did the, he did the, more talking to me sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like you just really didn't know like too much. Like they they just show because like the show a lot of shows at the time it just starts now. Like you don't know how we got here, right. our past, how we grew up, our right. you know not less whatever they share. But I just feel like with us, like you you only knew so much, and it was only thirty minutes. We had a big cast. Of course, Dwayne he gonna get his shine as he should. Mm-hmm. But I just think, you know, it was just so much that we uh we didn't talk about and kinda left on the table. And that's mm-hmm. and I think that's why we could have went, you know, more seasons than we yeah. did. But um but you know, like I said, we got five man. Shout out to Dwayne. He not to, he don't even do T V. I know he's he too decided big for TV. to he decided yeah, to take a chance. And I really I really think like it's like that was a good character for him because he's always saving the world. You know, yeah. he's just played a superhero, but he's always been that guy. So that character for him, he was just a regular, you know, regular dude, retired player. So how, trying to he's trying to do life. the same too. He's trying to do the same with football. football. You know, right. trying yeah. to trying to save that, and then even yeah. just save that league. But in doing that, it's in turn giving guys opportunities. So many opportunities. To, yeah, Thousands. to play at the next level. Whether yeah. again, obviously, I think the ultimate goal is like everybody's. It's just like an actor to be on the big screen, or you know, or to act for the you know the hottest or you know top director. I mean, what. Dwayne is doing for the XFL is obviously giving these guys an opportunity to play at the highest level. That's the NFL. If it lands you uh, in the CFL or you know the USFL, those are like I said, those are stepping stones. Those are those tunnels and paths to obviously get to the top, get you yeah. to the NFL. Yeah. yeah. So you know he's the number one star in the world right now. Absolutely. Right? So how was it? Kevin Hart may have something to say about that. <laughs> you know what's I funny? I always got something to say, <laughs> but he for sure. Those two to just, do all the side little content that they do is hilarious. absolutely brilliant. Yeah, absolutely yeah. Brilliant. When you, you said that, all, I just, in my in my head, I just visualized Kevin jumping on this table right now. <laughs> Saying, hey, man, what about yeah, me, yeah. man? Just to, just to meet our hype. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Hey, what you mean? <laughs> but no, tell us how was it working with the number one, like, superstar, movie star in the world. Man, it was crazy, man, because I watched Dwayne wrestling like as a Back kid. In the day, wow. So I, you know, of course I'm starstruck, but I'm yeah. trying to keep my composure. You know, I'm trying to be cool. But I'm yeah. like, man, this Dwayne. Yeah. Like we had one scene 
And um, every before then, I was cool. I was always like, but I never saw him. You know, I, even on my first scene, I'm on the phone with him. Right. And in the pilot, I never saw him. So when we finally start shooting the, the actual show, I got a scene with him, and they say action, and I'm just looking in his eyes, <laughs> balls, and I'm just like, eyes. yeah, I'm just like, man, <laughs> what? I, we at the Biltmore in Miami. Yeah. Like, what you yeah. doing, D? Man, man yeah, I don't know. Out. I, was, I was just, I just like, man. I just say cut. I walked away. <laughs> you call cut. I you call can't cut. call cut. You ain't yeah. the director. I didn't know that. Ah, That's hilarious. Oh my God. And so Dwayne, good. Dwayne came over there. He was all like, "Yeah, you don't gotta say cut." You know. Like, <laughs> ah, this is yeah, funny. you might get fired for saying cut. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know we got a um, a script coordinator. Right. Yeah, that's in the back in the in the um because I'm I'm still learning. I don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even know what continuity was at like when yeah, I first started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they, he said, you know, if you got trouble, just say line. Line. <laughs> and they'll say, and they'll give you the Because sometimes you just need that. Because once right. they say it, then You're like, everything okay, I got come it back. Here, yeah. Right, right. So I didn't know, but you know, it was a good learning lesson. But he, but I just, I just respected him because he just was so like, because he'd been there, I'm sure. And he was just so. Like, there's a lot of people that could have been jerks about that. Absolutely. Yeah, or like, who is this guy? Yeah. Who hired yeah, him? Yeah. But he was like real cool. You know, it was kind of one of like them little brother, big brother moments. That's right, good. Right, you man. know, like you got a vet. Cause I always, I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't playing ball, but I was in ball mode. I said, you know, I'm a rookie. Mm-hmm. I got, I got to keep up with these vets. I got to just show that I, that I belong here. Mm-hmm. But he was just like, man, you know, you wouldn't be here if we didn't think you could do it. You know? <laughs> oh, that's like, great. But, but trust me, that, cause again, the same thing happens in sports, right? <laughs> yeah. When you're in your eighth year, and the rookie drops a ball, You, right. if you go to him and say, oh, you tripping, get him off the field, that's not going to help the kid. You know yeah, what I'm saying? going to put him in, in that, that, that that's the situation. Physical, that, well, that, the physical aspect, I mean, we know that that's part of the game. I think right. it's the mental is what you're talking about. Because yes, now you which get is out way there, more important. Yeah, you you go out there, and then you can, you don't remember your plays. Mm-hmm. That's that's huge. And there is no line. Right, yeah, there <laughs> right. is no line. That, 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 that's huge. You know what I mean? Can you do you remember what exactly what do you remember the scene or what you were supposed to say? It was it was in episode two, and I'm at the Bill Moore and he's and he's wants me to sign with him because he because he's one he's a financial guy. Right, he's coming to get okay, you. So, he, so okay. he's trying to he's trying to give me he's trying to get because he, he knows I'm having some problem with my money. Okay, so he's trying to give you some advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's like, and then we go to the Bill Moore and it's and all my family there, mm-hmm. and they and they gotta pay for it. So he's like, man, now nah, you need to come because because Dwayne gave me his last like because I asked him to borrow two hundred fifty thousand in the first episode, so he gave me his last two fifty right that he has because I just need a little something because you know it's the season. next year yeah because yeah, because the season about to start because yeah. we always was in the off season so this is like oh this is like June so you know training camp about to start in like mm-hmm. a month or two right, right, right. Yeah. so I just need a little something for a month so after that he's like all right give you this money you gonna come sign with me so that was basically the scene like. Right. Like it was time for me to, you know, he because his boss wanted me to, um, he wanted him to have a contract because me and him kind of did like a little side, I mean, like a handshake, under, under, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah side did. And he was like, "No, nah, we need this in writing." So, right. so you scene. got in there and just froze up, just froze, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm sitting here and I'm just like, you had to go back nothing. and recollect. You, you got to get myself together. Get your thought. Get your thought. I love it. Yeah, but after that, I love it. I was good to go. It was good, right? It was good. And again, because I was like, man, if somebody going like. Other people believing in me than myself, so I was like, you know what? I just gotta, right. you know, like you keep waiting. I'm that, here. For, right. they, I'm here for a reason. Yeah. So you needed and the that. The thing, what you learned about that is is what you explained to us. Like you said, you didn't know what continuity was. Yeah. You, you didn't know. You didn't know you couldn't say. You cut. didn't say. You didn't say you yeah. But you start to educate yourself about being an actor, awesome. being on set, and yeah. who's who. Or what have you? Mm-hmm. So it, what is it? The PAs that do out like the lines, like when you when you like I said, you in a moment. The script you, supervisor, script, right, right, right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they're reading. They have the script. Some people like, call them God, you know, whatever, whatever yeah. you want. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cause Cause they, yeah, from nowhere. They, they're behind the <laughs> scene. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You go, uh, you, 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 we we're doing rehearsing a line. I'm like, uh, line. Yeah. And then yeah. next thing you know, they start. <laughs> yeah, come, come yeah. from nowhere. Line that's the, that's the, now I know like who the script coordinator. Yeah, that's that's one of the first people I meet. And yeah, people just always watching. Even one dude I had a scene, and um, I actually get the check from Dwayne, and the whole time I'm getting it with my left hand. And one time I get it with my right hand. Mm-hmm. You know you yeah, yeah, you're talking about yeah, all that. The angle right from the camera yeah, and all that right. matters. And yeah. I was like, and you know, you locked in, you like, for real? I, I was like, I could have sworn, you know, I yeah, grabbed my nah. left hand, but you, you know, you you in it, so you don't awesome. you don't know what's going on. Right, but it was right. it was a learning lesson. I would go up there and watch all the time too, even when I wasn't um, working, just mm-hmm. to just. I just love just being around the atmosphere, just yeah. being on set. You know, everybody just soaking you know, up knowledge. Good. Yeah, so, yeah, soaking knowledge, and then 
I would see like Dwayne and like you know Andy Garcia was on on a season one time. Yeah, I would see all these people I looked up to, and they would make mistakes. You know, we all make mistakes. They make right? mistakes. And I, yeah. Was that good for you to see them make mistakes and make you come like, okay, man, yeah. I'm human because they're human. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, we're watching TV as an as, as an audience. You like. They don't make any mistakes because right, right. they don't know they behind did, the they scenes. Did 50 like, takes. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Multiple takes. My, right. my, and what I learned the most is just what you do after that mistake. You know, same with ball. You know, yeah. my coach always say one snap and clear. You know, good and bad play. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you once you make that mistake or you make a bad play, you know, now you in your head. Now you make another bad play. Right. Another bad. Don't play. dwell on it. That's yeah. basically what you do. Yeah, yeah. You move on. Yep. People get tongue tied. Yeah. You know, forget happens, a line. Yeah. You know, it happens. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. life. So That's it was awesome. it was good to see because like awesome. I going before acting, going into it, I thought it was like you know reality TV or like Saturday Night Live. I thought it was all, it's live. You thought, thought it was, it was yeah. I thought it was all live. Yeah. Everybody would be perfect. Like there was no takes. No, but no. now like man, it's not it's so it's so many takes now. Like yeah. you get over it. Like we ain't real we, quick. We not we we not finished yet. Like we done this ten times. Right, so right. you worked with The Rock for five years. Yes. What's the true. best piece of advice he gave you within those five years? So, um, and we know he's a good guy. We yeah. know he's a good character guy on and off. Right. You know, I mean, a lot of time. I mean, honestly, like it was just more just watching him, man. Just just seeing how he just treated everybody. You know, mm -hmm. he was one of the biggest stars Which in the world. Which is huge in this business. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, he, as you said, there's the stars are so big. They don't yeah. treat you know the the grip guys with respect. They don't mm -hmm. treat the you know um, backup actors. Mm -hmm. They don't treat them with respect. Right. Yeah. So for Rock to do that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's just, but it's goes it goes unnoticed. Cool, you know, what he I mean? was so yeah. humble. I think just just seeing his humility. That's what I learned the most. I think because at this time, you know, he 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 was who he was, right. and just seeing how he treated everybody the same. And I think going in, you hear stuff about movie stars or TV stars that mm -hmm. they just you know prima donnas or yeah, they just yeah. they think they this or that. Don't but, talk to them. Yeah, what like, I think? they don't do. They don't take no pictures or right. autographs. Right. Or I want all. Red, you know, red jelly beans yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. nah, he was so cool, man. It just it was good for me because going to the show, HBO with the Rock, you know, yo, you you get big headed. Right? Yeah, I, I like, think yeah. I mean, just listening to you, you know, you know, share your experience with us and you know our get your popcorn ready audience. I think that advice that you're you're sharing, I think you experienced it that first time that you went. You know, you guys re you went into action together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Went on the scene. And you didn't know your line, and you called cut. Yeah. <laughs> and then you went off to the side, yeah. and he offered that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, That's what you're talking about, that humility. You, yeah. He offered that then. I think that was probably the first time, you know, again, you realize and you go back and you reflect. And you're like, man, as you just said, like, yo, a lot of these, you know, A-list actors, they don't have to do that. Right. You know, he could have gone back to the director. I'm like, yo, who, the fuck is, who is Get this? Get this dude out of here. Like, who is man. this big, big kid right here? Like, quick, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Real you know quick. I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was, yeah, just to see how he treated, you know, everybody the same. Right. And like you said, he can't, he didn't say nothing to me. He could have right. just yeah. let me just be in my own, you know. Yeah, let you figure it out on your own. Let you crash and burn. Sometimes the OGs, they be like that. Ain't nobody do that Do that for me. Ain't nobody help me out. Ain't nobody help me, but, yeah, just, you know, he's easy to work with, I seen, too. And I learned his business if he's easy to work with and yeah. you kind, you know, it'll it'll take it'll take you places for uh, sure. Absolutely. What's, Listen what's, to that, man. Be kind. It'll take you places, dog. Yeah. Um, you know yeah. what I mean? Don't be absolutely. nice. Be kind. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um what what's the goal? Let's say is it is it a Marvel movie? Is yes. it playing uh, you know, just a, a character? What's your ultimate goal like, of what's a your character? Optimal, for you? Yeah, the yeah. character. Like what's yeah, the like, piece yeah. that Oscar or five hundred million dollars at the box office, Ooh. and you can only do one because you know, they, they can't. They don't do both. Oscar movies don't do five hundred million. They've already done that. Yeah, they have. <laughs> they have. Yeah. 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 yeah, maybe maybe uh, his brother. <laughs> he got a brother. Big little brother. Yeah. Big little brother. Yeah. Yeah. He know, he's Notorious maybe. big little brother. Man, yeah. For real, um, man. You know what? <clears throat> I just. I just want to be on. I just want to create, man. I just want to be on great projects. Mm -hmm. I'm just with great people. I'm all about uh, quality more than quantity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just on great projects with a great script and just a good vibe, man, and we have a good time. That's What's your all, dream that's script? All. I mean, I, I love Marvel. So you said okay. Marvel. Okay. I love to be on a Marvel character. Me too. I'm with you on that. Man, yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm being, I'm being this I know, serious. I, I know I, you yeah. look like a. That's Marvel fine. Whatever you, whatever face. you 
peg me ass, <laughs> trust me, I'm I'm going to embrace it. As well you yeah. should. You I'm have gonna, no choice. That's I'm the going only to face embrace you have. it. Yeah. I have the body of a marvel, you know, character. Of a marble. Of a marble. That's what you have. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You know where I'm going. Marble with that shiny forehead? Yes. Boy, you know Absolutely. a marble is shiny. You know a marble is really shiny. Now look at all that forehead up there. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Yeah, we got it. No, nah, no. Nah, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it, man. Um, yeah, man. Just, you know, Marvel. I mean, shoot. Whoever whoever want to rock with me, I'm, I want to rock with yeah, you. Who, who would you want to... Like have a, a scene beside, like, like a dream like cast, a, a dream oh, cast. Like, that. like male male actor. Who would you want to have a? Let's say here's let's set up the scene for right. Here's the scene. Yeah. Okay, you're about to save the world. You're in your little blue suit, whatever, with yeah. the hammer, about to you know do the thing. Yeah. And your uh, line so, is, so what are we gonna do now? And then the your guy who you want to be acting with is over here. He's like, whatever you want to do, bro. Man. Who, who, is, that that yeah, who is that guy? Yeah, who is that to me? Who is over Yeah, who is that? Gonna, who are you going to save the world with? Sure. Will Ferrell. Really? Will yeah. Ferrell? Now, yeah. that's hilarious. Man, I love it. Nobody's going to think that's that. Comedy. Right? That's, that's, that's comedy. That's some straight comedy right there. So Marvel, love, you need to I do like, a comedy. Will Ferrell? Yeah. Okay. Cause you wouldn't, you wouldn't you, expect that. There you go. I well, like Farrell. I like it. But he's already on top of the world. Give somebody else a chance. He's giving himself a chance. He needs well, to get Farrell? on top of the world. Okay, Man, come on. Okay, let's go. <laughs> same, same scene. Okay, okay. Right? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, we gotta go save the world. But now it's a female over there. Female. Yeah, baby. Oh, let's yeah. save the world. And this is this is your romantic I gotta go Marco love Robbie. interest. Marco, Ooh, that's, that's yeah, the, that's boy, that's one yeah. right there. That's the yeah, scene. See, that's one right there. You want to go save the world with, with Margot Robbie. Yeah, we can do anything. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. We can save the world, go you get can, dinner. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. We can save dinner. That's sure. what we We can go die. Go. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't in matter. Together. As long as I die with Margot Robbie. No, we always yeah. die in movies. No, don't kill yourself yet. <laughs> He's like, we for, always the first to die. Margot Robbie, you go die is what you say. No, we always die. You right, you right. We going to the afterlife. You going to the afterlife? Yeah, we're going to the middle. Metaverse. Yeah, we in different metaverses. <laughs> going to the yeah. metaverse. Yeah. Going to part two. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So again, that's you know. Yeah, you Marvel. gotta throw it out there. You gotta that's throw it Marvel, out there. Right. So yeah. let's let's go to something like real, like yes. something uh, again. No football. I'm go football. Sports movie. Let's go sports, sports movie. movie. Not Blind Side, but you know gotcha. something. A sports movie with character. Ryan, you have the uh, you know you have these scenes where you have to write, give it up. Right. You have to give up your soul. You gotta yeah. be. You don't have to cry. I never say you have to cry as an actor, uh, but you happens. know you have to show this pain, right? Yeah. Now, who are you gonna sit across from the table for that actor? Because it's a different type of. I got a scene for moment. you. What's the scene? Okay, you got a you, the opposite guy. You're going. You're 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 dialoguing with. Mm -hmm. He's your coach. Mm -hmm. Your coach okay. during the season. Y'all going through the season, okay. mm -hmm. and he's stricken. He comes up with like. Kidney. Cancer, a little Ki yeah. kidney cancer. He needs okay. a kidney. I like it. Go he with need, this. Go yeah, with he, this. He needs a this. kidney. Okay. That's and your coach. You have a kidney to match. Ooh. Who's the coach? Who's that? Be? Who's that coach? Dang. Who you go? Who you go? Give up your kidney for? Oh yeah, this is like some Friday night lights type of stuff. Matter of fact, you, action! You gotta give it up. Oh Ooh. man! <laughs> here's, the, here's the line. Here, here's, here's, here's the line, coach. I don't want to, but I know I have to. Like right? you're my I, guy. I, 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 right, you're my guy. You're I don't guy. want to, but I know I have us. to. And okay. this is gonna save you. All right. Yeah. So we have in three, two, one, action. You know, coach, I, I don't really don't want to, but here you go, here you go, coach. Now who's that guy? Who's, yeah, who's who'd you yeah, give your kidney? Yeah. Oh, you know, I mean Who's that coach? And it can't be Will Ferrell this time. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm just trying to think because it's already like the Denzels. And, I, where does hey, that, if it's it the Denzels, it's the Denzels. And the Billy Bob Thornton. I'm, try, I'm trying to get right, right. right. Billy Bob's a killer. I mean, Jamie oh, Foxx can play. I think Jamie Foxx would be a good coach. He could like, be a good coach. Yeah, I think so, anything, yeah. Um, right? who, yeah. Else, who else like a good coach? Leo. I like I like Leonardo. Killer. I ain't never seen him at, as no no football coach. He could do anything. Leonardo. He could do anything. He can save the Titanic. He could save Yeah, that's true. Right, That's but true. now you gotta save him. You're his Titanic. You know what I mean? You yeah. gotta save him. Yeah. It's a role reversal. Yeah. Like he on his last. <laughs> I like, I, he got I like, a week I like, to live. He I got, like Chris Pratt. I think I think Chris, Chris Pratt's Pratt a could killer. Be, he could be a good coach. Chris you know? Pratt's a killer. Okay. Yeah. I just I need I, as long as somebody like professional experience because mm -hmm. you know they I, they gotta help me get to that too. You know? yeah. yeah. I gotta see. They really need a kidney. Okay, let's go back to that needing help, right? Because again, a lot of people after 
five years in the league, like, I got this thing figured out. I don't need help, right? Mm -hmm. After right. five years, are you going to acting classes? Like, what are you doing to enhance your craft? Yeah. Because yeah. as you, you, you got, you're far away. You haven't got to 20 years yet. Nah, and you want to nah. get to 20. Yeah, absolutely, like, what you yeah. you on the side to, to do that? Yeah, I, I go to class still. I go to, like, scene study class. Okay. And then um, always getting coaching for my auditions because I'm the type that I need, you know, Think playing sports, you need direction. Yeah, yeah. You need, we you love need coaching. direction as athletes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. I need it. Yeah, because sometimes I don't have all the answers. You know, you think like you're making this choice, or you think that you know the timing is right, or it's comedy and it sounds good in your head or in the mirror. Then you get in front and just you know you miss little things. So yeah, I'm always, always learning, man. I'm always yeah. seeking knowledge, always watching movies, mm -hmm. reading scripts. Okay. You know, going to class when I can. You know. Um, yeah, just any t and then I'm always just studying people too because I feel like, to me, I like to be a natural actor. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, in certain situations, I just like to see what other people do, like when they mad or when they yeah. sad or they happy or even myself. Yeah. You know what I do because I feel like, you know, somebody's gonna always relate. Like, and I do do that yeah. when when I in this. When so who is this that? Situation. Who is that actor for you that you feel like you emulate or you want to portray, or? You feel like he has some similar quality as, uh, or you would like to portray as a character. I mean, I would hope to like have my own. Right. Yeah. Develop my your own, own but thing. But I, but I love, I love, like you said earlier, I love Jamie because he just can do so much. Yeah, he's a chameleon. Very he few can, people can, can do. Yeah, yeah. He's Fox a special. Do. Yeah, yeah, like yes, he, do, right. he could be serious. He could be funny. Yeah. You know, it's a hard craft. Yeah, it's just he <laughs> could put on you know different hats, and I feel like no nobody give him his flowers. As he, I mean, he they do, but I just feel like he's just so talented. Like him and Leonardo as well, yeah. and uh, Johnny Depp. You know, them dudes can do legends, do a, killers, like legends. And some yeah. of them didn't even go to like I'm not saying them. I think Leo didn't, but they didn't even go to acting class like that. They just they just yeah. learn, you know, on the fly. And I think right. sometimes that's the best way too. Yeah, because I just want people to understand. Like again, after you're in it, you don't just stop and say, you know, I'm just gonna sit around and wait for it to happen. Like no, right. the more you work on your craft, the more the universe is gonna bless you with the opportunities. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's like if I were, again, young actor, advice I would give: learn accents. Mm. You know, it's like that's all. It, if you can do accents and you're an African American actor, you will yeah. work forever. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. True. That's true. why everybody is coming over here from from London, <laughs> from you know yeah. getting all these roles. It's like yeah. that's just you have to work on those things. It's like oh, I'm just gonna be that. You don't want to just be a football player, right? I don't want right. to play a football character. I want to play yeah. some of uh, some of these characters that the industry looks at as mm -hmm. a, you know as wow, he can really do it. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta just you know my my thing always when I go in an audition just. You know, always do my best and just, you know, open up their eyes. Maybe they didn't see somebody like me being this person, but, yep. you know. Yep. Yes, man. yeah, being versatile. You know what I mean? Yeah, just like huge. being, being like, obviously, I'm use football terms because we, we, we can relate to that. It's just like, you know, receiver being not not just learning your position, but learning what the tight end yeah. does. Or the, the slot. Yeah, just like, you know what I mean? You had to, in a sense, you got to diversify your portfolio. Yeah, yeah. Got to <laughs> diversify your the portfolio. The more you can do, the longer you stick yeah, around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. That's awesome, man. And even like stuff like this, watching y'all podcasts, other podcasts, just hear like what my other peers is going through because sometimes you mm -hmm. think like, man, you know, it's a, it's a tough business. It's just competitive as football, a lot of rejection. Yep. I mean, you just hear other people, you know, their story and – Yep. How they got to where they are, and you just you know outside looking in, you think like they you know they did this, they did that, yeah. but you know they going through the process. Yeah, we all go through the journey. Those, you know, like those have, have, you, have you ever went to an audition like oh, I really wanted that? Like, what's the number one audition like you really wanted but you didn't get? Man, show sure, everyone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. Because some like, you going like, yo, this yeah. is me. If I it's get like this, perfect I'm gonna kill it. Perfect yeah. for yeah. me. Like perfect yeah. role. I think, um, man, I, shoot, I just I I was close on. I did um. American Underdog, uh, mm -hmm. um, with Kurt Warner's story, yeah, yeah, and I was close mm -hmm. on that, and I, you know, I thought it was like you know it been a good fun part, man, but you know, I'm just, I just, you know, it just, it's not. Sometimes it's not meant for you, it's meant for the other person. Very true. And mm -hmm. you don't know what they're going through, but you know, I'm just always gonna compete and do what I can. Yeah. And it, I'm learning too. Maybe it's not for this. Down the line, something, you know, yeah, because it's a casting director. You want to yeah, see they do them. different they, stuff. They doing ten movies. Right. A they year. might think of you. Yep. Or at least just get the opportunity because a lot of people they don't they don't get to audition. They Very don't true. they don't get in those rooms and you know that's that's what I would say. Butler's helped me to get in these rooms and get in front of people. Right. 
Absolutely. So how's your team built, right? You manager, agent, lawyer. Like, how how'd you build your team after you got boss? Of course, everybody like, yo, yeah. let me represent you now. Like, where was y'all when I needed y'all? You know, for but. sure. Yeah. I mean, at first, I didn't have anything. I didn't have no manager, no agent. I got my uh, opportunity through my coaches at UCLA. Okay. So that's, that's one, good. One, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. And then once I got that, I, I got my lawyer first because mm-hmm. that's five percent. So yeah. and that's cheaper. Yeah. You know, agent <laughs> Get him agent first, and yeah. manager, they ten. So um, over time, I got I got a manager first, then I got my agent, and um, now I'm on my second agent. Cause, you know, but fun. you got the role first, because a yeah, lot I got of people the out first. there they come yeah. out to LA saying, "Yo, I need an agent, I need a manager." Like, no, you need to go book something. Yeah, I go mean, work on that. Everybody's story different. True, um, true. You know, if you got somebody that you think that that is good, and you know they're gonna fight for you, but I just, I think anybody gonna fight for you more than you fight for yourself. True. But at my exactly. time, yeah, I got the job first. Then I got the team, but yeah. you know everybody's like, "Oh, that's backwards." But I mean, it, it, it's yo. It worked out. It don't. It don't right. matter what it is. Whatever right. worked out for you. <laughs> but right. yeah, I got I got my lawyer first, and I got my manager. Then I got my agent, and then of course with them, they start giving me more opportunities. Cause now I finally, when I when I did ballers, I was like, okay, I really want to do this. Like this, right, right, you know, right. I, I got the bug, so they say, and I was like, let me work on getting my team, and then I got a PR a little bit. Like yeah. dur- like during ballers, but mm-hmm. I feel like you know sometimes if you like I'm always working for me. Like I said, I'm always meeting folks. I'm always networking, and you know a lot of times they rather sometimes deal with you than your yeah. team. Sometimes. Right, the agent. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, it's there's you know there's they try to cut the middleman out. Right? Yeah, they try to. Yeah, but at some point you got to bring them in because you start talking about the money and negotiations. Yeah, that ain't you know, yeah. the big words, and yeah, you got to talk to them. Yeah, already, <laughs> already. Right. But yeah, a lot yeah. of times, like I did, I did a movie during COVID, uh, Midnight in Switchgrass, mm-hmm. and I knew the director, and he like kind of you know we had a we had a um, relationship, mm-hmm. and right. he and me and was you know I kind of had to come in, but I didn't even have to. Audition for that. He just right. like, do you want to do it? And I read, I read it, and I was like, yeah, I'm Boom, down. Like, perfect. It's COVID. I ain't, sh- I ain't doing yeah, yeah. too much these days. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it, that, that's how it is too. But that's you know, just gotta just meet people, and then that's you know, the stars align. Let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Yeah, absolutely. You can find me on Instagram, Donovan W Carter, Twitch, DC So Fly, um, and Twitter. So fly as well. Yeah, I be gaming a little bit on Twitch. So yeah, check there it, it out. is. Yeah, check them okay. out. Vernon Littlefield yes, from sir. Ballers is in the building. Yeah, Diamond that's Carter, what's up, the Popcorn man. Ready Podcast. Yeah.